Good day everyone, Robert Weimer, the go-to guy of Desire a Difference. Today we are going to do a WordPress tutorial on editing your users. So we're going to go ahead and log into our WordPress training class. Now the Users tab is going to be on the left hand side. This is another bit of administrative stuff that we need to do. Probably we should have done this after we did our settings tab. So we've got the username under admin here. We're going to go ahead and edit. Now you can edit each one of these users, but it's important to get this done first and foremost because for one thing it shows up on our blog post how we do this. So the username admin is basically there by default. You cannot change it. Now, what you can do is you can disable the visual editor when writing. Um, I don't know why anyone would want to do that, but it, the option is there. So we're going to go ahead and do something a little different under the administrative color scheme. The color scheme is what you see right here. I don't like grays and blacks. I like blues. It gives a little bit more life to everything. Update profile. Ah, much, much better. Now you can do this with any one of your users. Um, if you have 50 users, you can. they can all have this, or they can all have um, some other administrative color if you like. What we're going to do is we're going to change this to, um, we are going to put in our name. Robert Weimer and I like to put my little tag after the go to guy nickname required we're going to put it Robert yep, let's go ahead and get rid of this And what will happen is that it will pop up as is. Now we're going to put that back, actually. We're going to Z this. Now, display name publicly as. And this shows up after your posts that you put on there. Good for search engines. And what we're going to do is we're going to choose Robert Weimer, the go-to guy. And you have several different choices, but I just want to pick the choice that makes sense. We're going to go ahead and update profile. Make sure that everything is good. Contact information. Now, contact information most definitely we need, especially if you have a bunch of users managing the site. So we're going to go ahead and change this to my dealio. Desire a difference. And we can put in our website information. I do not have an AIM or Yahoo Instant Messenger. I don't have anything about myself or anything instant messaging. Next, we need to put in some biographical info. This basically is just information so that you know who the user is. Um, we're going to put in site and creator. We'll do that. Now you can assign your users different passwords. Um, by default, it will have you set up a password whenever you install your WordPress onto your server. You can change that if you like for something that oh, makes more sense. Now, it's good to have alphanumeric and have some symbols in it for strength purposes, that sort of thing. Keep everything secure. I'm not going to tell you what this is, but as you can see, the better the password is, the better off you will be. Let's try that again. As you can see, I have a mismatch. There we go. Now we're not going to keep it because I don't want to change it for myself. But in any case, you can change your password. We're going to update the profile. And we are going to go back to Users. 
and we are going to see name the GoTo guy with email and you can email each one of your users if you like utilizing the email program that is set up as your default program on your computer for me it is well looks like it's Microsoft Office and as soon as it pops up I am going to go ahead and get rid of it because to be quite honest with you I don't like Microsoft Office that's our Outlook I should say and this is why I don't like it because it takes so long to bring up Now we're gonna go ahead and exit out of here there we go that was easy okay and then we can take a look at our profile it goes back in now let's go ahead and add a new user we are going to put in Stan email Stan at noplace.com. First name is Stan. Last name is somebody. Websites. We're not going to put in a website here, but we are going to give Stan a password. And since Stan is a fictitious person we are going to show you exactly what it pops up as now you can send the password to the email address that you have set up for Stan but we're not going to do that we're going to uncheck that because this is a fictitious email now we choose the role of Stan Stan we are going to put in as a contributor I want to show you and we add the user what happens we have Stan here under all users okay so now what we want to do is we are going to log out and we're going to show you what this looks like under Stan's profile not want to save this because Stan does not exist. Now if you will see and if you will remember not a lot going on here. Under my password all we had a lot more things. We had a lot more stuff. So under the contributor Stan can only create new posts. He cannot edit anything that I have done because he is not an administrator but what we can do is stand the contributor can put in a new post hello from Stan and as you can see whenever we create a post it goes into a permalink we'll get into that a little later this, this is what we look like or that we want it to look like ah much better this is what we should see. This is my first oops, first post. Now, the only thing that Stan can do is submit for review. Now he can preview the post, which will pop up in a new window. Oh, you know why? Because we have not made this site public. We cannot do that. So, we are just going to have to go with this Submit for Review. We go back to Posts. Hello from Stan Pending and Hello from Stan Draft. Well, that draft was a mistake, so we're going to go ahead and trash that. Now, Stan can't do anything, but you, as the site administrator, can do something with it. If we go back and we see one post, we go back into our posts, we see draft created from November, we see hello from Stan. Now, 
if we go ahead and take a look at this and we like what we see here which I guess that we do you as the site administrator can publish Stan's post now Stan as a contributor is pretty much at the second rung of the ladder now editors and authors can go ahead and have more privileges to be able to do more things with their posts and now what we've got under the bookworm we have another post hello from Stan this is my first post let's take it back to the very beginning let's check back in with our users and that pretty much is it we see Stan and administrator I've kept it as that um, we can change that if we like we can even change the status of Stan change role to author this will give Stan more rights let's log out and find out how much more rights Stan has a little bit more let's put in another post by Stan let's put in as our second post I'm Stan the man this is my second post publish and see before as a contributor I was not able to publish understand but now as an author I can publish my own posts so this gives you the power to be able to say to your particular site administrators hey I trust you you put out good work and we are going to upgrade your membership or something to that effect click on bookworm blog I'm Stan the man so now he can go back in and do that type of stuff now and that is pretty much it for setting up our users I'm Robert Weimer the go-to guy if you have any questions feel free to email me at robert at desireadifference.com Thanks, and have a wonderful and profitable day.